Have you ever found yourself really excited about working at a particular company to the point where you go to their career page and refresh it on a regular basis to see if a job opened up that you'd be excited about? That takes a lot of time. I'm gonna show you a very cool way that you can use Google Alerts to monitor a career page and get an email as soon as a job opens up that you're excited about. All right, let me show you how it works. So here we are on Airbnb's career site. We use Airbnb a lot because I think they're a great company and they're big enough for Google to pay attention to it. This may not work with small companies that Google's not indexing their career pages. So let's say I'm really excited about working at Airbnb. There's a very particular type of marketing job I want, uh, or I just wanna be made aware whenever a new marketing job gets uh, opened up at Airbnb. So first, let's scroll on down to the jobs and you know, there's lots of jobs here. And so we're gonna talk about this because there may even be, you know, how a company chooses to organize their jobs by category may not align because maybe I'm into marketing operations, but I could totally do sales operations and now I need to search multiple categories. This is gonna help us with that. So let's go over to our marketing jobs. All right, there's some there. Now we don't need a particular job right now. What we really need is this URL, right? Because we know that anything at careers.airbnb.com slash positions, anything after that is gonna be a job. And what we need to do is search the body of the content that is sitting at that domain or, or root uh, is what that's called. So we're gonna use this information. All right, let's go ahead and copy that. Now, Google has a really cool feature called Google Alerts. And in our case, we'll just Google Google Alerts, kind of meta there. Uh, but this is how you can do it. It's gonna be the first thing, super simple URL, google.com slash alerts. And you can use this for anything if you wanna get notified if something's going on, a new store, you know, a new product at a store, but we're gonna use it for jobs here. We wanna know if first, we're gonna see if a new job gets posted to Airbnb's career page, period. That's it, if there's any changes, we wanna know, and then we'll actually filter it as a second step. I'm gonna go into a Google search bar and I'm gonna type site colon, and I'm gonna paste in that URL. And we actually don't need all this HTTP stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that just to make it a little less specific. And if we do enter, now you are searching just things that are on the positions domain or route, again, on the domain of careers. So you can see here, these are all the jobs that Google has in their index. Now, know that what Google does is it keeps a separate database of every page it finds on the internet. So some of these may be really old and they may not be on that page anymore. Um, see, yeah, there's tons and tons of, you know, 270 results. I'm not sure if there's 270 active uh, pages, but you can filter them by date and do cool things like that. So that in and of itself is really interesting using Google search operators. The cool thing is we can use Google search operators in a Google alert. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna go back over to Google alerts and I'm gonna create alert about, and I'm gonna paste that in. And here, it's already telling me stuff. It's showing me some of what it's found. Um, we can get rid of that. If you wanted to do the whole careers page, you could probably even get rid of positions um, and have it do everything that's at the subdomain of careers.airbnb.com. And that'll probably work just in case they post it somewhere. And now we can do some options. How often do we wanna get it? If I'm really anxious about it, I wanna know as it happens, right away. Send me an email as soon as a new job gets posted or anything that's changed on that page. Or you can do it once a day, you know. I think depending, you can decide. And then everything else you can kind of leave alone. Um, you know, if you wanna focus in on the US only, you could do that, things like that. And now we'll create alert. What's gonna happen is you'll get an email in your inbox at whatever interval you set. So if it's at once a day, you're gonna get it at once a day. If I set it to right away, you're gonna get one actually as soon as you save it, you'll get your first version. So let's go ahead and leave that one as once a day because it's really broad. Now, I wanna know if there's any marketing jobs available. So let's go ahead and copy that text, paste that there, and now I'm gonna type marketing at the end of that one. And what this is gonna do is whenever it sees the word marketing on careers.airbnb.com, it's gonna send me an email. And for this, I do wanna know right away because I wanna know if a marketing job becomes available. 
you're not gonna like apply and rush, but you know, it'll give me a sense and why not? It's not gonna happen that often. So here, let's go ahead and set our options to as it happens. And we will create our alert. And so now just like that, we've got two Google alerts, one for on a daily basis, give us a summary if there's been any changes or updates to the careers page. And one, it's gonna send us an email right away as soon as the job is posted with the word marketing in it at Airbnb. All right, so let's go ahead and check our email and see if we got the one that says as it happens in our inbox already. So here we are in Tina's inbox and you can see Google Alerts, Site Career Airbnb, and these are the marketing jobs. Um, this one has marketing in it and here's a perfect example. This has marketing in the job description, but not in the job title. So this is a really great way to broaden uh, your search at a whole company for particular keywords that aren't necessarily in the job title, right? So this one's probably not great for Tina and you know, this one might be interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look. And what we'd wanna do now is go ahead and add this job to our job tracker on Teal so that we can monitor it and get it into our pipeline and make it part of our process. We also wanna see, are there other keywords that we're excited about in this job? So we're gonna use the Teal Chrome extension. If it's not in your browser, you can just pin it here, uh, assuming you have it installed. We'll put a link in the, in the comments below in the description on how to get it. But you pin the extension and now you can click it. And let's go ahead and add this job title. Paste that in, company is Airbnb, we'll leave the location off for now. And we'll go ahead and take the job description, Command C on the keyboard or copy like this and paste in the job description, hit next. I rate this one eh, kind of a three, I'm just gonna monitor it. Save the job. And now we'll go over to Teal and check out that job. So we can see, you know, this job's got marketing a lot in the job description. And so we see it here showing up. Um, a whole bunch, and then there's brand marketing. Um, you know, this seems to be more of a finance position for the marketing department. So maybe I pass this along to somebody if I'm a marketer, but this gives me a much better sense. Okay, so these top keywords are really marketing, but now I look at finance, strategy, analytics. Okay, this data science, this isn't really a marketing job. And so it's a fast way to kind of vet the job. And so let's just go ahead and archive it because uh, it's not gonna be a job we pursue. All right, so that is how you can set up a Google Alert and then any job that shows up in your inbox, very quickly add it to your Teal Job Tracker and manage your job search really effectively, save a ton of time and focus your time and energy on the things you're really excited about. All right, so good luck and I hope you land that job you love.